discovery of 3,600 year old burial chamber could be of the Canaanite elite of Medigo. Nine skeletons discovered in a 3,600 year old burial chamber in biblical book of Revelation City, Medigo stuns archaeologists. This is by Stoyan Zaimov on Christian Post Reporter. An archaeologist unearthed human skeletons dating back to the Canaanite period. That's about 1,800 years BC. At an excavation site in Sidon, southern Lebanon, in 2008. Archaeologists have been working on that site for the past 10 years in a project undertaken with the British Museum. And the archaeologists say they are stunned by the discovery of a magnificent and untouched, quote unquote, 3,600-year-old burial chamber in the ancient Canaanite city-state of Medigo, which is mentioned in the book of Revelation in the Bible. It's also, of course, mentioned in the Old Testament. National Geographic reported Wednesday that the extraordinary find could offer potential clues into the royal dynasty that ruled the area south of Haifa, today part of Israel, before its conquest by Egypt in the 15th century, we're talking BC. That's over three and a half, uh, and a half thousand years ago. For nearly 5,000 years, from 3000 BC to 1918, Medigo served as an important strategic pass for international military and trade routes, offering the stage for numerous historic battles. It's described in Revelation 16.16 16, as a place called Armageddon, which derives from Har Medigo, or Hill of Medigo. Archaeologists now say they've discovered a tomb there from the 15th century BC, when Medigo was besieged for seven months by the forces of the Egyptian pharaoh Tutmosis III, eventually surrendering. Tutmosis III then moved to incorporate Canaan as a province in his empire. Israel Finkelstein and Mario Martin of Tel Aviv University and Matthew Adams of the W.F. Albright Institute of Archaeology, who have been conducting excavations in Medigo since 1994, first found a subterranean corridor near the Bronze Age palaces in the area, leading to a burial chamber back in 2016. The chamber contained the remains of three people, a man, a woman, and a child, who were adorned with elaborate gold and silver jewelry. The man had been crowned with a golden diadem, which suggested a high level of skill and artistry. Quote, we're speaking of an elite family burial because of the monumentality of the structure, the rich finds, and because of the fact that the burial is located in close proximity to the royal palace, end quote, Finkelstein said. What is more, archaeologists have found that other human remains had also been interred in the tomb at an earlier stage following the practice of ancient funerary rites in the region. Besides the jewelry, the undisturbed nature of the three bodies after their burial, in comparison to the others that were moved, gives credence to the theory that they were of high importance, according to excavation team member Melissa Kredic. A DNA study of the bodies found buried in Medigo is seeking to determine whether the common inhabitants of the Canaanite city-state are of the same background as the elite rulers. The results can change perception of the population of Canaan, as scholars have long believed that the Hurrians, a roving mountain people who emerged in the region in the 4th and 3rd millennium BC, could have played a big part in building the first cities in the Near East. Finkelstein said these studies have the potential to revolutionize what we know about the population of Canaan before the rise of the world of the Bible. Human remains discovered at other ancient Canaanite sites have intrigued researchers as well. Archaeologists revealed in July 2017 that the remains of an adult and a child were uncovered at the biblical site of Gezer in Israel. The victims apparently died some 3,200 years ago when a blazing building collapsed and were buried under the ash and mud brick debris. The discovery led researchers to confirm accounts by Egyptian pharaoh Merneptah 
about how he laid siege upon and conquered Gezer, burning down many of its buildings in his campaign for control. Kindly support my Patreon account, since that's the only way I can continue what you like seeing on this channel. Thank you. You'll find it in the description box below.